Hi, welcome to another Studio X video. And today we are going to see files in folder automation and Studio X. For which, let's create a blank task and name it as move and rename files because this is what we're going to learn today how to rename a particular file and move it to a new folder. So click on create button. Meanwhile, it is creating a workspace for us. Let's see what we're trying to do today. So we have a few invoice files, which is in the PDF format in the invoices folder, if you see. So these are the files and we want to rename each of these files by appending the company's name, which is Parker Industries and today's date and time. So once we are done with renaming the file, we want to move it to the folder of the company, which is Parker Industries. So this is what we have to achieve. I trade through each file, rename it and move it to the new folder. Let's come back to Studio X. We have the workspace ready and let's start by iterating the file. For which let's go to the file card and use the activity call for each file in a folder. Drag it to the workspace and mention your folder where all the files that has to be iterated are present. So I'll give the local path where all the files are. So in the week two invoices folder is where all the PDF files are. Now include subfolders is what if you want to iterate through the subfolders as well, but we do not want to, we just want the invoices files to be taken up. So that's why we are not checking this. Now, next thing we have to do is rename the file. So to rename the file, we must know the current file name. So for that, let me introduce something known as Project Notebook in Studio X. So if you go to this particular icon called Project and you click on the Open Project folder, you have something called as Project Notebook.xlsx. So this is an Excel file that by default comes in every Studio project. So whenever you create a project, this file will be created by default. Now, what this file actually is, it has predefined formulas which you can use in your automation workflows. So you do not actually have to write a logic. Uh, it already have the, the formulas that you can use in the automation workflows. So meanwhile, the file is being opened. So, okay, so we already have the file. You can see, you can check the description and then we have the scratch pad where you can temporarily save your data. Then if you want any formulas related to date and time, this is where you can go. And similarly related to text also, but we want to move to the file. Now what we have in the files tab is, as you can see, you have input and output. Input is where you can mention your complete file path and as the output, you can get what is the uh, file name with the extension from the mentioned full file path. So document.docs is what your, uh, sorry, untitled document.docs is what your file name is and this is your extension and this is the file name without the extension and this is the folder path. So you do not actually have, have to write any kind of logic to do this. You just have to come and write your full file path here and you can get any of these values. So we are interested in getting the file name, right? So let's do this. Uh, what we have to do is, so let me just go back here. And suppose if we have invoice1.pdf, shift, right click, and then we have something called as copy as path. Go back to Excel. Let's take a quick demo before we proceed. So let's remove these extra semicolons. Now you can see when you are putting the file name here, you can get the file name with the extension here. And this is your extension and this is the file name and this is the folder path, right? So this is what we have to repeat for each of our files. Second thing we have to do is once we know the file name, what we want to do is we want to append the company's name and today's date and time. So let's the, write the formula here itself. So click on this particular cell and come to the text part here click and write the ampersand and then you have to add the semicolon because we want to write a text. So add semicolon underscore and your company's name, which is Parker Industries. Okay, so once you have done, next thing you want is another underscore. Now your text is done. This is what you want to append as a text part. Next thing you have to want to add is the formula, which is today's date and time. So again, add ampersand and this time you are not adding a semicolon because this is a formula. So the formula is your year and the month and the date. So you are done. Let me see. Okay. Let me then check if we are doing something wrong here. So we have the ampersand within the semicolon and okay, we have one missing Y. Let me just correct it. So there we go. Now, 
So from this, now we will get a renamed file name. So a file name underscore company's name and the date and time with the year. So this is what we want to achieve. So once we are done with writing the formula in the project notebook, save it. So once you're done, then yes. Another thing that you can take care is when you go to the this particular notebook icon, you can also open from this and you can configure the notebook settings. Save changes is when if you want to save the changes, whatever is being done in your project notebook, but as a best practice, you should not. Okay, so this is what we have seen. Now what we want to do is we want to write the uh, we want to, to write a file name in the project notebook, right? Let me keep it open. So for which we will use an activity called write cell. Okay, so we will use an activity called write cell. Okay, drag it here, keep it inside the for each because we want to repeat the same action for each of the five. Now, what you want to write is your current file full, full path, right? So you can see you do not have to do again any, any coding you can actually get it from your current file properties. So when you hover and you go to your current file, which is your current file in the iteration, you can actually see all the properties. So we are going to use the full path of a current file. Now, where do you want to write? We want to write in the notebook, in the files tab, and we have an input cell called full file name, right? So this is where we want to write input full uh, file name is where we want to write. Now we are done with writing. So we will get a renamed uh, renamed file name in this particular cell now, which is uh, number 10. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now next thing we have to use is moving the renamed file. Now for which we will use an activity called move file. So drag it again inside the for each because we want to repeat this for each of the files. Now click on the plus button from where you want to actually move the file. So again, we will use the properties of your current file. So a current file full path. So your current file, which is this one, and the full path, including all the folders, and your file path with the extension is what it's going to pick up. So from here, we want to move it to now again, you can click on the browse button and we have the Parker Industries as a folder, right? So let me go to week two invoices, Parker Industries. So this is the folder. Now, what is gonna be the file name? So click on the text because now we want to, to edit it. So till now this is the folder. So to end the folder, let's add a backslash. And now click on the plus button and say current uh, sorry, uh, in the project notebook is where you're going to get the, the renamed file name. So go to notebook, again, file, and file name, no extension cell is where you have to get the file name from. So we are going to read this particular cell, then don't forget to add the extension, and then click on the save button. So we are done with renaming and moving the, the files for each in a particular folder. Okay, so... Now we are done and let's close this. And maybe you can say save. And now this is what we have. Parker Industries is a folder. And click on the run button and see how it performs. Cannot create a file name when it already exists. Okay, so I realized that the formula was overwritten here by some dummy value. So I have rewritten the formula here. So it's same, uh, just appended the ampersand park industries and the formula for the date and time. So yeah, so earlier it was just replaced by some dummy value called right uh, while saving it. So I have changed it again and let's run it. And this is a park industries folder. And okay, so run is successful let's go back and see so in the park industries folder we have all the renamed file with the invoice one and then the underscore the name of the company underscore the date and time with the extension as well uh, that's all for today thank you